Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the Medical Director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. Every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, on Ask Dr. Barkin Call-In Show, we discuss some abstracts, and now I'm going to discuss the following abstract. When to perform bone scan in patient with newly diagnosed prostate cancer, external validation of the currently available guidelines and proposal of a novel risk certification tool. This was published in the European Association of Urology in 2010 and uh, this is an article that was written by people from Milan, from Italy and let's go now and discuss the abstract itself. Background. There are several guidelines that uh, indicate that patients with well-differentiated or moderately well-differentiated prostate cancer uh, do not need to have a bone scan. And this is done for obvious reasons. We shift in the patient population. We get more and more patients that have very minimal disease, very early disease due to the fact that they are being diagnosed by just the right in PSA. So, however, guidelines recommendations have not yet been externally validated. So, the objective of this study was to validate available guidelines regarding the need for staging bone scan in patients with newly diagnosed prostate cancer. Moreover, they developed a novel technique to try to aim at improving that accuracy. So, in their patient, they included 853 consecutive patients that they were diagnosed between January 2003 and June 2008 in a single center. All patients underwent bone scan using Technetium 99. They measured the following factors. They f measured the PSA, they measured the clinical stage, and the GLISEN score. They divided the patient to low risk, which are patients with GLISEN below 7, and having clinical stage T1 to T3 and PSA below 10. The intermediate risk was biopsy, GLISEN score below 7, clinical stages T2 and T3 and PSA more than 10, and high risk biopsy proven more than 7 GLISEN with um, all the guidelines that um, are actually related to having a high risk prostate cancer, including the clinical stages. The limitation of this study was that this was a retrospective study. As far as they know, this is the first study aimed at trying to look at the guidelines. So what they say is that, however, the accuracy was significantly lower compared with the accuracy of the new risk stratification that they used. According to the tool that they devised, staging bone scan might be considered only for patients with GLISEN more than 7 and PSA more than 10 and palpable disease clinical stage T2 and T3 prior to treatment. What's interesting, the historical indication for bone scan up until now were that if the patient has GLISEN 8 or 10 or above 7, PSA above 20, but it was not taken into account the clinical stage T2 and T3. Uh, many of the patients have T1C and in, in those situations they did not do the bone scan. Thank you very much for listening. For more details, please join us on Tuesday, August 17, 2010. And if you missed the show, you could get on our website www.pcref.org and you could find on the home page a place where you could download the specific show on your iPod or download it to your computer. The phone number for our show is 1-877-727-3301 and you could call at any time to leave a question, a recording of your question, or when you call, 
Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Pacific time. You could listen to the join, listen to the show, and join us. Thank you very much. Best wishes. I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the medical director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. Thank you. Goodbye.